Well, it's damage that spans since the start of the pandemic in March of 2020. We're talking about everything from graffiti to even in one case, a car into a building. And it's yet one more report that shows some of these secondary impacts of the pandemic. Books are in order and ready for readers at the New Holly branch of the Seattle Public Library. Wednesday, the 27th and final branch finally reopens after more than 18 months. This is our last branch that'll open, uh, reopen, I should say, uh, to the public, and that's a very exciting day. A reopening that comes as new numbers show the toll the pandemic has taken on the library system, specifically on the buildings. In a memo sent to council, the library reporting more than $434,000 in damage across 10 buildings over the course of the pandemic. $170,000 of that coming in the form of broken windows outside the central branch. Money to repair windows smashed by a BB gun. And how's this for unusual? The same building hit again when an uninsured driver smashed into the side back in March. No one was injured. I think when you look across the city, you see it in businesses, you see it in other organizations and institutions. It's just the fallout of this as it spreads throughout the city. And it's not just the downtown, but it's other neighborhoods in the city as well. Cause aside for now, the library system says it's incurred more than double in repair costs, expenses they simply didn't budget for. The library is also pointing to an increase of loitering and uh, vandalism across all of its branches. We're told that this memo was sent uh, from the Seattle Public Library to Councilmember Deborah Juarez's office. She requested it. We reached out for her uh, for comment, did not hear it back immediately. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.